We examine smartphone assisted pen and zoom techniques for 3D data spaces in head mounted AR. With this, we aim to support the exploration of datasets, such as collections of multimedia objects, and the immersive analysis of abstract data in AR. In both cases, panning and zooming are among the most important interactions. We conducted a user study comparing four pen and zoom techniques and the baseline AirTap gesture. The study was organized as a within subject design. It consisted of the five techniques in two task types and three zoom levels. 25 participants completed the study. The setup consisted of a 3D data space with a target object and several distractors. The task was to pan and zoom the data space to bring the target object into a target region in the center of the scene. The targets were placed along the coordinate planes and in the data space octants, resulting in 2D and 3D tasks. Additionally, three different zoom levels were necessary to complete the task. Zoom in, zoom out, or no zoom at all. As a baseline, we used the standard AirTap gesture of the HoloLens. Users can pan the dataspace in all directions by dragging it. With a double tap, zooming can be activated. Move and drag combine spatial input for pan and touch for zoom. While this and the following techniques can be designed to only use the internal sensors, we used an optical tracking system for increased accuracy and easier logging. Move and rotate uses spatial input for pen and device rotation for zoom. Drag and drag combines 2D drag via touch with selection of the axis through phone orientation. When holding the phone horizontally, the data space can be panned horizontally. Vertical panning is enabled by holding the phone vertically. A double tap activates zooming. Drag rotate and drag uses rotation for panning on the Y axis and touch for the other axis. As in the previous technique, a double tap starts a zoom. Our results showed significantly different task completion times for the techniques. Task type, zoom levels and their interactions also show significant differences. In general, results indicate that spatial device gestures outperform both touch-based techniques and hand gestures. For an in-depth analysis and more details on the results, please refer to the paper.